Got a new rug today from Amazon. It says it's a Dallas rug. We're gonna go ahead and roll that out and see how it looks. But before we do that, we're gonna clean up in here and vacuum up, and then we'll uh, use the Shark. We got this Shark Vertex vacuum. We're gonna go ahead and test it out. The difference between this, this uh, Shark vacuum and a regular vacuum is it looks like a normal vacuum, but you can take it apart. And then you can use it to uh, a shorter version of it to vacuum your couch and your stairs. And you can use the longer version of it with the pole to reach the, to vacuum the hard to reach places. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. The only disadvantage I've noticed so far is it doesn't stand up on its own like a normal vacuum would. You know, just fall down, so you have to lean it against something there. And there's no bag. It looks like it's just got the uh, container there. So let's go ahead and run it and see how it does. So it's got all the controls up here on the top of the vacuum. When you turn it on, you have two settings here. That's for uh, like a wood floor or a tile. You hold down the floor type and then you can do carpet. It's really loud though. It's got a high pitched noise. I think I'm going to wear some hearing protection. Alright, well this vacuum is pretty loud so I'm going to use some ear protection. I've got some work tunes, uh, Bluetooth headphones. So even if the noise doesn't bother you from the vacuum, you could use these Bluetooth headphones and you can listen to music while you're vacuuming. Alright, so let's get this vacuuming done. If you like music like I do, Amazon Music Unlimited is having a special deal where you get three months free. And then after that, it's $7.99 a month. I'll go ahead and have an affiliate link in the description if you want to check that out. I will also have an Amazon affiliate link to the 3M WorkTunes Bluetooth headphones. I really like these things. All right, well, so far, this thing is really powerful. It feels like it's taken off on me, and it takes a lot of strength to, to hold on to it. It's like really, really moving, and I'm like having to hold on to it so it doesn't take off on me. Uh, plus, it feels like it's a lot of heat's coming out of the vents. Yeah, this area feels really hot right here. All right, you can see in the filter here, it looks like it's got a lot of stuff in there. Let it get picking up the hair and the dirt. But yeah, this is definitely isn't your average vacuum. This thing's got a lot of power. I wasn't sure why this thing wasn't picking up anything, but it looks like the brushes have stopped spinning. Okay, so these had stopped spinning. It had all this uh, crud stuck in here. So I had to pull that out to get it to spin again. Oh yeah, it looks like this Shark Vertex vacuum is really working great now. My name is Jason, by the way, and the name of my YouTube channel is called That Hobby. I make home improvement videos and product reviews. I will have some playlists at the end of the video that you can check out. And if you're interested in these kind of videos, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Oh, it's a heavy one. You can see the vacuum just fell down. I had it leaning up against the wall, so that is an issue. It will fall down a lot. So to empty it, you just push that back there. We'll open it up and see what it looks like in here. The button here says trash. Push that and it opens up. Doesn't look too bad, but we'll get all this off of here. We'll dump this and see if it runs any quieter. This filter can be pretty dusty, so you want to get a good dust mask so you don't have to breathe all that in. So here's what it looks like here. It's got two filters in here. This is why you want to wear the dust mask, because this is pretty dusty. So 
So this goes in with a label here. There's probably better ways to clean this out. I might want to get out the air compressor and blow this out because it's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. Or right, we'll go back in there and see how it works on the wood floor. We want it on the wood floor. One tip to prevent it from falling is just to set it down on the ground. And as you can see, it does pop up, and so, or the vacuum brushes do pop up, so you want to step back down on that to get it flat on the ground again. I'm not quite sure what to think about the shark vacuum yet. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the rest of the house and then I'll make another video on it and let you know what I think. We got this rug on Amazon. It's called the Baroness. It's part of the Dallas collection by United Weavers of America. The one downside to this thing is it is really wrinkly at first and so you'll have to put some furniture on there to flatten it out. First thing we're gonna do is position it where we want it and then we'll put some chairs on there to hold it in place. The nice thing about this rug is how soft it is. But the negative is it is very thin and it takes a little while to get the wrinkles out. If you don't have any furniture, you could use some weights or some heavy books. The rug is eight by 10 and it is made from 100% olefin. Olefin is supposed to be a really good material for rugs. It's resilient color fast, stain resistant, and durable. This one's been down for a month and all the wrinkles are out and it's relatively flat now. It was curled up on the side and I had this uh, side table on it. And then I had a chair over here on the side, but it's uh, smoothed out now. And it, like I said, it feels really soft on my feet. So you can see how nice this rug looks. The advantage to these rugs is they're about half the price of other rugs, but they're also about half the thickness. But they do flatten out and they're really soft. All right, well, I hope this video helped. And if you're interested, I'll have the Amazon affiliate link in the description. Now we can put that in. Now we got a small vacuum. Test it out on the stairs. <laughs>